fuses in. I don't want to go over there. Oh! Guys. Guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! That actually scared me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. But here it is. It is finally here. The game that I've been waiting for for a long time now. What's going on YouTube? This is the Harp Eagle here, and welcome to K9. I know exactly what the sound is. This is the sound of two black holes colliding. WASD move, left shift run, left click throw, pick up ball, E interact. Okay, oh man, these graphics, this is such weird depth of field. Like everything feels like this. I needed to go out like this a little bit. Oh, there's someone right there. Let's talk to him. This is not a good place for a boy like you. Are you looking for your dog? Yes, I am, sir. Lots of pets go missing lately around here. And I think that shady pet clinic has something to do with it. Be careful, boy. But anyways, guys, let me talk about this game, K9. I have been keeping my eye on this game for a while now, because just like the game Viloma, on Twitter, certain game developers that I follow, they like certain posts, and, uh, can I open this door? I guess not. Oh, no, I can. Okay. But I, I, I follow certain game developers, guys, and what happens is um, they liked a post of somebody, of, of the developer teasing this game. And I saw it and I was like, dude, this is a scary game that I definitely need to play. Better keep the ball with me now. Yeah, because no one's around here. Don't worry, I was reading the subtitles, guys, so don't worry. The Fuse Canine Human Hybrid, an exploration of demigod potential. This study examines the potential for a fusion between a dog and a human to result in a demigod. Or results in a fucking chimera like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood through the use of advanced genetic modification techniques. The DNA of both species was merged to create a hybrid organism. The subjects underwent a series of physical, mental, and metaphysical tests to determine the extent of their abilities. I hear something, guys. All right, this atmosphere is very scary. Like this lighting and this weird zoom in, like depth of field, is very scary. But okay, we're just looking for a little dog, aren't we? And this is definitely a sketchy pet clinic. Okay, nothing, nothing on this side of the wall. So we have no choice but to go over here. What is that? That's a bunny. And I think there's a camera up top. The bunny's gone. But okay, hold on, this game is so, like, confusing. Okay, so what exactly is the gist of this? So all I have is a ball with me, like, okay, so once I throw my ball and a dog catches it, like, what am I supposed to do afterwards? This is, like, something that I was expecting Doghouse to be. This is a game that I played, like, literally last year, guys. But it was this one trash-ass horror game that I played, and it was about dogs, and I thought, oh, well, if it's about dogs, it better be scary. But it wasn't. So this is basically the Doghouse that I never got. I heard something. I'm scared. This this blood is leading all the way over there. Guys, I, I've, I need to pee all of a sudden. I'm gonna pee my pants while playing this game. Okay, there's a restroom. Why am I crouching? I don't know why it made me automatically crouch. This ambient music, I swear to f***ing God. No, I'm actually gonna pee my pants, guys. All we have been doing is literally just run down a few halls. And I, uh... I am so scared to death right now, guys. I like my goosebumps. Oh my fucking god. Where do I where exactly do I go, guys? Oh! There's a dog over there. Tony, is that you? I can't see anything. I gotta find a way to turn on the lights. We need a fuse. A fuse is missing. Okay, then find the fuse. A key. Room 18. Locker key obtained. I remember I saw the lockers. What is this? So this is what they're trying to do. So this is our dog, right? The test concluded that this dog couldn't be the ideal vessel for a god, but we may use it for other purposes. Its high DNA compatibility makes it a candidate for other minor projects. We're in lockers, guys. Locker 18. We got the fuse. Fuse obtained. Oh man! Oh man! This is one scary freaking atmosphere. I gotta let you know that, developer. You're really making me regret playing this game. Like you really are. Put the fuse in. The fuse is in. The fuse is in, guys. Oh my fucking god, the fuse is in. I don't want to go over there. Oh! That dog was literally walking like a fucking human. I don't want to play this game anymore, guys. Can I just fucking quit? Like, there, there aren't that many scary games that makes me, like, actually want to stop playing it. There's only such a few handful of games that have actually made me feel like that. And this is one of them. Can I throw my ball? No, it still won't let me throw my ball. What's over here? I don't want to go anywhere near that freaking creature. Tommy! Please be kind. Please be nice with me. Oh my 
fucking god. Guys? Guys? I need to run. Hide in this fucking bathroom. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! It's over. It's over. It's over, he's gonna come in here. Maybe I can use Tommy's ball. There we go. He's distracted. He's distracted. He's distracted. Run! Get the f over there right now! You have a stamina bar! That's not fair! I should go back for Tommy's ball. It might be useful in the future. How, how are you gonna do? 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 What? I'm so paranoid. I thought that blood was literally him. How are you going to go back for the ball when he's literally so interested in it? He's still in the bathroom, right? He's still... He's not... He's not in the bathroom anymore. Where... Where did he go? Where could he have possibly gone? Where could he have possibly gone, guys? Our ball is still here. I have never felt so powerless ever in my life. That's probably the reason why this is so scary. Because I feel so powerless and, and defenseless against the enemy. Like, if we had a gun, I'd feel less scared. I, honestly, I probably wouldn't even feel scared at all. Because all we have is a f***ing tennis ball against some six-foot hybrid demon. This is literally one of the scariest games I've already f***ing played. Oh, you're here. But where's the shotgun? What are you doing with that ball? I'm truly sorry. I didn't want anything of this ha to happen. Those bastards won't listen to me. Heard me out. There's a way for you to escape. Use the four switches to open the big door. And this is important. The last switch is in. The last switch is in the... He, he couldn't tell me. Okay, so here we have F, E, D. So four switches to open up this door in order to escape, right? And this is just a little statue. So where should I go first? I'll go on B first. This is all we need to do right now. Just find some um, switches. All right, the switch is not gonna be in here. It is not gonna be in here. So I might as well just keep going. There's a dog in here. They were making experiments with other dogs. These dogs better not break out of their glass capsules, I swear to God. I'm very paranoid right now, guys, because I feel like the dog is definitely gonna come in here. This is the switch. Once I activate the switch, it's gonna magically activate them to come over here. I'm gonna have to run all the way up here, and I'm gonna have to hide in here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Oh my f***ing god. THERE'S A WAY! Okay. He's not gonna do anything with the ball? He just keeps coming back over here. He's waiting for me now. Guys, I'm gonna do the unthinkable. I'm gonna grab the ball. I GOT IT! I grabbed it. I grabbed it. How? No, like seriously, how? How the f*** did he find me? I was literally hiding underneath the f***ing shelf. But we, we know where one of the fuses are now. I can't move. I threw the ball! Alright, I'm taking off my headphones. I'm done. Nope, 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 nope. You guys can get jump scared, I don't care. You guys can get jump scared, I don't care. Where's my ball? It's over for me, guys. I don't know what I'm supposed to do! I'm- I don't know what I'm supposed to do! I just had a feeling he was gonna do that. I just had a feeling. I just had a feeling. I just had a feeling. Let me throw the ball where he can see it. See, here's the thing. How am I supposed to get the ball back? Grab the ball. Run. Get out of here right now. Yep, one of the fuses is activated. We're going in C right now. 
we got two of the switches. We got two of the switches and we only need three more places to go to right now. Little lift truck he's obtained. We are actually making progress. How do I get to that switch? That's Tommy. I thought Tommy was the one that was chasing us this whole time. Tommy, get out of there right now. How am I gonna get him out? I need to go back to D. It's this way. Yes! Okay, now we can turn off, turn on the fuse. That's the, that's the third one. That's the third one, guys. Now it's just one more fuse. Wait a minute, what exactly did that do? That's the fourth switch! We, we got through the, we got through it. We got through it. But we never got Tommy. That's the guy from before, right? Okie dokie, you've escaped without your boy. You have just sentenced him to a life of eternal pain and suffering. Although you can always try again before it is too late. I'm sorry, Tommy! Alright, that is literally the end right there. We are back at the lobby screen right now, guys. So, that is gonna be it for today's video then, ladies and gentlemen. That was K9. My goodness, dude, that was so freaking unbelievably scary and because of two things one because of the atmosphere the atmosphere just the dark setting with the contrast of like the weird orangish lighting because it wasn't like bright light and it wasn't low like it was kind of dim it was like dim lighting and it just made the atmosphere so scary so that's one and number two because like you have this sense of helplessness like i felt so helpless and defenseless against this freaking creature like all you have is a tennis ball what are you supposed to do so those two things that's what made this game so scary and man that jump scare really really got me because i had no idea he was actually going to get me through that like he legitimately had the byakugan he saw me through the sh that wall he saw me through that but either way that is going to be it for today's video then ladies and gentlemen that was canine and you just saw me finish it but apart from that that's going to be it for today's video then ladies and gentlemen so hopefully you all enjoyed and if you did please make sure that you leave a like and also subscribe and until next time, everybody, take care of yourselves.